All right, guys, we have our board briefing Thursday, June 23rd. Month is flying by. Here we go. Warm up, four sets. We got 14 different movements in this warm up. I'm gonna get our body nice and fired up for what we're gonna do. Deadlift review, five progressions, plus some setups, tips, tricks, foot placement, hand placement, grip, all the good stuff. pre wad strength, skill, call it as you will. Every two minutes for 12 minutes, five deadlifts. Caveat here, we're going double overhand grip. No mixed grip, all right? Working on some grip strength here. Uh, just to expand on that, we should be working on grip strength all the time. We don't really mix grip for anything else for deadlifting. I recommend that you start your workout uh, whatever weight you're at and practice at heavier loads if you're getting heavy in the workout with double overhand grip, okay? Um, can we ascend in weight? Sure, we can ascend in weight now, all right? And then we have what we call run the table. Nine minute AMRAP, nine deadlifts, 155, 225, three wall walks. That's the RX level two. Same reps, nine deadlifts, 95, 135, three wall walks, all right? And then we have level one, which is gonna be a little different, 55 and 75, nine deadlifts, and then we have partial wall walks. So that's getting up the wall as comfortable as you feel going as high as you want um, and being comfortable doing that, all right? Partial wall walks are gonna be beneficial. You're gonna get better at wall walks or partial wall walks. You're gonna gain some strength from doing it. So I recommend doing partial ones even if you're not doing the full repetition. It also will train your body or you and your body to know where you are in space when you're upside down because um, the body doesn't really know what's going on when you're upside down. It's just like, hey, what's happening? So we make sure that we can make sure our rib cage is pulled down. We're not arching our back, uh, all that good stuff. All right, as far as the workout goes, this one's gonna be pretty hot and heavy with um, speed. So there's no real, say, tactics. We wanna come out of the gate pretty hard on this and just see what we got and tr just try to keep going. Nine deadlifts, 155, 225, 95, 135, 55, 75. Whatever weight you choose for today's workout, it should be a manageable load for you. And we should be trying to go unbroken as long as we can, okay? When we get tired in the later rounds, in the later minutes, you might have to break up the deadlifts but it shouldn't be singles. Matter of fact, it should be only two sets, max. Like maybe you're doing five, drop, then picking up and going four, okay? Wall walks. The later rounds, we should be no more than a minute doing three wall walks or partial wall walks. At the beginning of the workout, you should be zipping up and down that wall pretty good. Standing for the wall walks today. We're gonna try to get, I know when we do it in the CrossFit Open, there's some space between you and the wall. Um, let's try to get nose and toes. We're gonna try to get really close to that wall, okay? And that's gonna help us up with our upside down posture. Uh, yeah, scaling options for wall walks, partial wall walks. If we're, not getting com if we're not comfortable getting upside down, I totally understand. Uh, inchworms without a push up from a box. So a you know, 12 inch box. We get into a pike position, we walk our hands out, we walk our hands back, back into that pike position. If we're still not comfortable doing that, we can do inchworms with a push-up. Now, if we can't do push-ups from our toes, we go to our knee and get that push-up done, okay? That's gonna serve our purpose. Um, yeah, run the table, let's have some fun with it. Oh, sorry, my bad. Total rounds we're looking for, between five and seven. Uh, like I said, wall walks, no, no more than a minute, all right? Let's have some fun with this workout. It's gonna be fast. Should be pretty aggressive in the movement as long as we're moving well. Keep that weight manageable. We'll see you tomorrow.